Good morning, guys. It's <laughs> Wednesday, May 10th. I did not mean for that to sound like that. I was trying to just like go like, no, like because the alarm, you know, was like going off. <laughs> Why did it come out like that? It is a beautiful day. It would be even more beautiful. The shot, you know, would be even more beautiful if there were like leaves on the tree, but um, you know, that's fine. This is a like such a different video and I'm only really doing it because I need something to keep me accountable. The thing that I need <laughs> to be held accountable for is not going to get Starbucks or just some kind of coffee shop drink every single day. The thing about me though is I've gotten coffee makers in the past. I've, I've gotten a ninja coffee maker, uh, I've gotten different Keurigs, I got this other one, I don't even know what it's called, um, forever ago and just I could not quit drinking different coffees from different places and the more that I thought about it I'm like why is that two reasons I found out one I like espresso more than I like a mug of coffee I love strong espresso I love putting in it with a little bit of milk sometimes I just like flat espresso I like black coffee but if I'm going for something I'm not gonna get an iced coffee I'm gonna get an iced latte typically that was the first thing I realized in making coffees at home I made coffees, not espresso. So that was one reason why it just wasn't the same. Second is I just really like the experience of getting in the car, driving and have, making someone, having someone else make my coffee. Um, that for me is just like really fun. So I compromised and I could do one of those things with this situation. Situation that I could do is I could get an espresso machine. I got the Nespresso Virtuo Plus. I don't know how to pronounce it or anything like that. But I bought this the other day, um, and honestly guys, I'm just gonna be real with you, I'm a college student and I have like no money. Um, and buying this was probably not smart, but also it is. Because if I'm gonna drink coffee, I might as well just like do a one-stop shop and not go buy $5, $6 coffees every single day. All of this being said, I am going to do a fun little um, taste test with my Nespresso for today. If you guys, you know, feel inclined, while I'm seeing stars, <laughs> you can Venmo me. Uh, Venmo me for a shout out. There's, there's my Venmo. Uh, so everyone go ahead and Venmo me. No, actually, like on a serious note, I'm not expecting anyone to Venmo me. I'm literally just kidding. Um, but if you do, I'll give, <laughs> give you a shout out. <laughs> I'm going to be taste testing a couple different kinds of espresso today. Um, there's a couple ones from the sample pack. Actually, I'm only gonna do one from the sample pack And then we have two that I actually got from Starbucks because I watched a video on it earlier of someone taste testing these and the notes in the Starbucks Nespresso's Sounded really good. I'm not doing any milk or anything in these I'm just getting flat espresso and taste testing them. So here is the wonderful Nespresso machine I have a little corner set up here Got some pods in here. I have a couple different boxes of pods I picked up. Those are just like double shot Chiaro. Um, we have some sugar-free Philips from like the Caruso's brand uh, syrup. Some caramel. Obviously you can see I like caramel, caramel, caramel. Um, if I'm wanting just a little like drizzle on top so I'm not like overdoing the sugar. And then just for like when I do caramel macchiatos, Got a nice vanilla Tarani in the back. Let's do, first we are gonna just do the Nespresso's um, Altiso. I'm sorry, I have no idea how to pronounce these things. We're gonna move this one right here. So we're gonna do this like in alphabetical order. So we got A, that's the Altiso, and then we're gonna do B for blonde. That's gonna be the next one we're gonna try.
And then the final espresso roast is going to brew in this kind of bigger cup. Okay, we got the lineup here of A, B, and E. And honestly, I don't know why that looks like more. Maybe because the cup is taller, not as like widened. I don't know. It's just, oh, okay, yeah. It's definitely just because it's taller. But yes, we got the Altiso, the Blonde Roast, and then the Espresso Roast. Okay, I apologize if I'm pronounced. Whoa, whoa. I don't know how to pronounce Altiso, Altiso, but I'm gonna go ahead and read the profile for the Altiso after I taste it because I wanna see if I like guess any of the hints in it. Oh my gosh. All right, let's do a little taste test. Cheers. It's kind of acidic. It's pretty strong and it's honestly, I let it sit too long. It's not very warm anymore, but that's okay. Um. Mm. Yeah, it's like acidic. That's like the best way that I can put it. It has like almost a, kind of like a, what you would have when you like eat like a really acidic fruit, like a lemon, like that kind of like zest afterwards. It's really smooth though. It's a really, really smooth roast. I think it would taste good with like a little bit of like raw sugar, like the, um, the turbundo. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce these things clearly. I'm gonna search up Altiso Nespresso Profile. Okay. It says, okay, it has acidity in it. It's a three out of five on the bitter scale. Roastiness is three out of five and body is three out of five. It, for acidity, it says one out of five. I don't agree with that. I think it is pretty acidic. It says it has like a chocolatey note in there. I don't know if I agree with chocolatey, at least like without having milk in it. I, it says like that it's, I think it's like good paired with milk. It is, it says it's cream, creamy and velvety, which it really is. It's very smooth. I don't know. It says one of the notes is intense and yes, it is pretty intense. It's kind of strong. I wouldn't say it has chocolatey hints. I do taste, it's very like robust. Like you can really, it's really like roasty tasting. So it is bold. This next one is the Blonde Espresso. Starbucks Blonde, cheers. <laughs> that is so different from the one I just had. This, like, I almost, like, just didn't expect it. It is sweet. Not, like, sweet in a way that's, like, that is, like, um, like, it tastes, like, sugary. That's not at all what I mean by sweet. It just has, like, a, it's just not as bitter, I should say, as the Altiso, or Altiso, I don't know. I don't know if I'm like, it is really smooth as well. I'm not getting like any like particular flavor from it. Just that it is, it would probably really be really good in a latte. Definitely would be. I'm actually, I like want to drink the rest of it, but I'm gonna <laughs> be up all night if I drink all of these shots. Let's see if like anyone's, let's see if there's a profile for this one outside of like what's on the box. The only note is balanced, which I think is probably right because it doesn't like have any like, any hints. Yeah, it's a slight hints of roast, which yeah, I would say it's slight. Like compared to this one, this one is a lot stronger, the Altiso. It's weird, I almost prefer the stronger one. Oh. I just like a strong espresso. So this isn't, while this isn't bad, this would probably be better in like a latte. Whereas I think this is like almost good, just like plain. Um, I feel like this one, you need like a little bit of flavor with the blonde, but the Altiso kind of has like a flavor with it. Like I said, like that kind of like zesty flavor. And the last one is the espresso roast, which honestly I was the most excited for this one, but I don't really wanna hype it up too much. 
chips. That's the best one, 100%. Yeah. That is good. That is good. That is perfect. It's not like, it doesn't leave a bad aftertaste at all. I would totally drink this one flat. It is a darker roast, so it's not like, it's not as like acidic-y as the Altiso, um, at least in my opinion. It, it again is really, all of these are very, very smooth. I think like what adds to it is the like foam that goes on the top. They, Nespresso has a word for it. It's like crema or something. Crema, crema, I don't know. Um, personally, I think this is the best one. It's not mellow by any means, but it does taste like it has character. Yeah, that one's my favorite. I don't know if I necessarily get molasses. I don't know if I'd say molasses is like the right taste. It is, it does have like a little bit of a sweet and then it's just like dark roast. Like you get a little bit of sweet in that initial like, but then the rest is just kind of like the roast. So if you're looking for like something that's gonna have like a lingering like sweetness, you should probably add like some kind of raw sugar to your espresso, but this one by far is my favorite. This was really good and I'm gonna be definitely purchasing more of this one. I really like that. Um, okay, this one says, the taste is intense and caramely sweet. This coffee's at the heart of our handcrafted latte recipes. Fuller bodied and bold. There's robust flavors and characteristics essence of intense roast and the notes just says balanced again, but it says like it has a caramely sweet. I do taste like a little bit of sweetness at the beginning, but it doesn't last very long. So um, I don't know if I'd say caramely sweet. I'd more so maybe say like hints of, hint of caramely taste. Yeah, cause you can, I can definitely taste it. It's there. And then it just like vanishes, um, but I like it. Again, just like if you, you don't want me to keep making videos, um, maybe use my Venmo link, send me like five bucks, you know, a hundred, two hundred, uh, five million, if you really want. <laughs> <laughs> I should not drink any more of these, but I will, as you can see, I had, let me just rate these in order. This one, the espresso roast was a number one for me. The Altiso was second, I think. And the last one, as you can see, it has the most left in it, the blonde. Um, the blonde was good, but I just think like I'd like it better with like some milk or something. If I'm gonna do like a sweet latte, then I might as well just like go the full way. Um, otherwise it just like, I'm not really like getting a lot just from the espresso shot itself. So let's do one more sip of this. Ooh. The longer you let these espresso shots sit, they just don't taste as good. I love this one. Um, please don't mind how I look in this video. Didn't do anything to get ready. I just walked upstairs and said I was filming this. So please don't mind how I look. But I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Um, if you want any more videos like this, just let me know. I would love to. So love you guys. Peace.